July 19th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at a page that's on spaceweather.com, one of the links. And this it's a list of potentially hazardous asteroids, or PHAs. And you can see it goes down to September the 13th here. And uh, in color-coded, you've got uh, in the light orange in the center, uh, what's called the missed distance of an asteroid, called 2020NQ2LD. Then one in a darker code, 2011ES4 in the bottom. And it's saying 0.3LD. Guys, you know how far that is? That's 71,656 miles from our planet. And so the color codes really should be updated to something much closer. Now, if you go to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and I put it in for, the, for one year, and I'll show you the closest couple of named asteroids that will be here within a year, but the closest one will be here very soon, November the 2nd. But now, look, if you go and you look up until July the 19th, which is today, you've got three asteroids listed. Notice to the left. The closest one is 1.99 LD, guys. That's almost, uh, you're approaching a half million miles. It's nowhere close to our planet. You notice 1 LD, which is a lunar distance, the average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 238,856 miles. Now, nothing happens according to the chart in September that's very close at all. So, again, I'm going through the list. You go down to September the 1st, you've got one that's saying 0 0.19 LD. But, guys, that's still very far away. The, uh, when you're dealing with that kind of distance, it's not going to come anywhere close to our planet, and a lot of this is overhyped when you start seeing the color coding that you see. But the 2011 ES4 at 1.9 LD is 45,382 miles from our planet. Now, you know, the uh, <clears throat> ISS is about 200 miles above the planet, 220, something like that on the average. But if we go over and look to November the 2nd, now this is where it starts to get serious. We're looking at the minimum distance of 0 0.002 LD. And even closer distance, if you look at the next column, which says AU, or astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. But on, on November the 2nd, 2018 VP1, the asteroid, it's, it's saying it will come 4,777.12 miles from the planet. Something interesting about it, if you put in the math of the 3.19 E-5 AU, or astronomical units, it's saying 3,634 miles is the distance. Guys, do you, if you understand orbital, what's called orbital mechanics and the way they measure distances from objects in space, is from the center of each object, not from the surface. It's called orbital mechanics. So when you put that factor in, this is what you're looking at. It's called center to center. And if I go too fast, guys, pause it and read it for yourself. But at the bottom it says they always use this. It's for orbital mechanics. It's always used. The altitudes used are always altitudes above the center, not the surface of the body being orbited. This is not the only example. Any celestial orbital mechanics equation which uses altitude, uses the altitude from the center, not the surface of the planet. Okay, so with 1AU, we're at 3,634 miles from the center of the planet. But how thick is our planet, guys? Do you realize that puts it, the impact point at around 300 miles inside the surface of the planet? The Earth's diameter, look, 7,917.5 miles. That's how thick, that's how wide the Earth is. Half of that is 3,958 miles, okay? Now look at this AU mile chart at the top right, 3,634 miles. So that that's puts the impact, again, 300 miles into the surface of the planet. And if you look at the JBL models, they give you... A scale and it uh, shows the degree of uncertainty as far as what they are, have determined where this object will go and so I put in 2018 VP1 that's this asteroid if you look down to the right it gives you different elements 
uh, as for instance, it was the arc span uh, was for 13 days. The first time was 2018, 11, 3, November the 3rd. The last time was November the 19th that they were able to get an orbit on this thing. The condition code is 7. That's important. And there's your last date of orbit, November the 19th, 2018. But this con condition code goes from 0 to 9. 0 means they know pretty much exactly where it's going. 9 means they're very unsure. It's called the MPC or U parameter, orbit uncertainty estimate 0 to 9, with 0 being good and 9 being highly uncertain. So the 7 uh, is very close to the 9, guys, as far as uncertainty. Now, let's look at the actual model on this thing, and that's notice today's date. And 2018 VP is now behind the Earth. It's slightly below us. It's going to come close to us, not very long, but it's going to slowly rise. It's almost in the ecliptic. Notice that it reaches outside of the band of Mars, which is in the red orbit, and then loops back in. And that puts it very close to passing through our asteroid belt. Now, we play this forward. I'm just going to make it very quick, but um, we'll go up to where it's going to come under the Earth as we look at this. And then notice how the Earth, which is in the blue orbit, intersects the white orbit up in front of where Venus is now. That's the date on November 2nd that we're going to have this close approach, whatever you want to call it. I'm just looking at the numbers on it. But, uh, guys, the once they, what they call, relocate or rediscover the asteroid as it gets close enough to be picked up on radar, they may update the information from back in 2018. That's uh, that's how this works. But with the information now, again, during September, we don't see anything close. And But I know for a fact that we're not told everything. Because if you think about it, if they said there's going to be an impact event, and anything over a 1,000 meters, guys, is uh, an, almost an extinction-level event strike. What's happening in Afrin and the Saharan dust cloud has nothing to do with any of these asteroids. It happens every year. This one's just a little rougher because Grand Solar Minimum is heating the surface of the desert, and uh, that creates more dust into the clouds. But now the one November 2nd is very interesting, and that's what I know about it. If anybody has anything besides what they're hearing from different sources, if you got some technical data that you can get or some information, then put it in the comments below and we can all share it. But this is what I know, guys. November 2nd, this is going to be a very close event. The impact is showing in the numbers. It's a heads up. Be safe.